Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today with a docking station, which is a little bit more than a docking station. It's also a KVM. So a docking station, we connect several devices to it, peripherals, storage, SD cards and whatnot. And then with one single cable, we will connect to our computer, which is cool. But if we need to control two computers, then a docking station is not enough. Then we will need a docking station with a KVM so that we can connect our keyboard, mouse, storage and so on and so forth. And then only with a single click, we will be able to pass from one computer to the other computer and it will be easy as that. Now this is the AV Access iDock C10 which we will be able to connect to a laptop via one single USB Type-C cable and to a desktop or a mini computer via USB, DisplayPort and HDMI and I will share all with you so that it gets really really simple. But if you are looking for a solution that it's capable of connecting up to two laptops via two single USB Type-C cables then don't forget to check out one of the links that I will leave down below which which will target to the review that we have seen of the C20 which is able to connect with one single cable for each laptop. But if you aren't looking for a solution for two laptops, you want really a laptop and a desktop, then forget the link and come with me and let's dive in to take a better look on how simple it is to configure and to make it work. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official oim keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper and besides windows 11 pro if you are looking for windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our microsoft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below let's start with the unboxing experience so inside the package we will find the av access idox c10 and besides that all the cables that we will require and i will let the video for a few seconds so that you can see all of the components but basically you will only need the cables of your displays because on the c10 package comes with everything else now in terms of the connectivity here at the front we will find two usb 2.0 ports for the peripherals mouse and keyboard one usb type c 5 gigabit port so that we can connect storage for example one audio output an sd card slots and then also we have three leds one that indicates if it's on or off one for the laptop and one for the desktop and then the button which is really cool and i will share with you in just a few moments how it works but basically i will click and i will transfer from the computer to or the desktop to the laptop at the back we will have the rest of the connectivity so first for the laptop a usb type c cable and also a ethernet port and then for the desktop side we will need a usb type b cable which is included and a display port in and hdmi in which will come from the desktop then we also have three usb 3.0 ports one optical out one dc in and the two hdmi outputs that will go to the two displays that we will use now one thing to have in mind is that if you only have one single display and you want to use it you can use it with only one single display and then in the future if you want to add the second display you can do that in terms of resolution it will support up to 4k at 60 hertz or if you want to play some games at high refresh rate, it will do 1080 up to 240 hertz. And that being said, let's go now to a setup example so that I can show you off a little bit better how easy it is to operate this and how easy it will make our life to manage two computers at the same time and two monitors and all the other peripherals. And now with a setup example for the iDoc C10, I've got here on this setup a laptop. I've got also a desktop which is a mini computer right over here regarding the laptop is connected via one single usb type c cable to the av access docking station the desktop or the mini computer as you want to call it it's connected via usb plus a display port and an hdmi cable which will connect right over here as we have seen on the connectivity now i've got a mouse and one keyboard that i will be able to use as we will see in just a few moments on both computers with 
without having to disconnect anything. And if I want to use an SD card or if I want to use any kind of storage, which we will use in just a few moments, I can do so without having to disconnect or connect anything to any of these computers. Now, at this moment, what I've got is the laptop connected via the single USB type C connection. And for example, I can switch from screen to screen, or if I want, I can also use the laptop screen. So it will work as three individual displays. And this will be a interesting option if we want to have three displays, or if I only want to have two, I can close the laptop and have the two displays available. Now, if I press this button right over here, which at this moment is lighting the number one, which has the laptop um, sign right over here. But if I change to desktop, it will change everything that we have connected right over here. In this particular case, only the keyboard and mouse. And I will be able to use the keyboard and mouse on my second computer right over here without having to mess around with cables and whatnot. So only two screens right over here because it's not a laptop, it's a desktop. Now, one more thing, which is really, really cool. For example, if I want to insert an SD card, what I will need to do is just put it right over here. And if I put this uh, here, hopefully you can see it on the other angle, but you can see that I've got two devices of storage, one of which is the internal storage of the desktop and the other one is the SD card that we just put in. Now, in terms of the SD cards, the maximum speeds, which I did test out is about 100 megabytes per second reads and on writes. And this will also depend on the speeds that we have on our SD card. But I was able to achieve about 80, 90 megabytes per second reads and writes, as you can see on the test. But the great thing is that if I want to work on some data on this SD card, I can do so, I can open the folder, do whatever I want to do in terms of changes. And then if I want to bring to that side, I just need to press the button, it will transit to this laptop and it will bring all the storage and all the peripherals that are connected. So the keyboard and mouse just pass to the laptop. I can also control it. Let me put it right over here so that you can see better on this angle. We've got the main drive for the laptop and also the SD card, which is called pen USB, but it's the SD card that is right over there. Now, if I want, I can also connect right over here a SSD and this is the USB with five gigabit connectivity. So we are connecting right over here and it just appeared letter D for the SSD. So once again, I can work, I can do everything that I want on the SSD. And once I press this button, I finish working on the laptop and at this moment it will recognize the SSD right on the desktop. So we have the internal, we have the SD card and we have the SSD so we can open it up and work on the files that we want. So this will work basically for any device that we connect. It doesn't matter if it's a printer or a storage device or anything else, it will just share between the computers. And this is great if we are using different operating systems and if we want to change files from one machine to the other, when we finish one task, move to the other computer is just really awesome. Now I did test out the SSD as well. We have five gigabits per second speed. I did test out and the maximum speed that I was reaching was about 400, 400 and something megabytes per second reads on known writes. So we are reaching almost the maximum, but this will depend also on the SSDs that we use. And then we have the back ports, including one Ethernet port, which has a one gigabit connectivity, but with one limitation. As you can see right over here on the screen, I've got the Wi-Fi, and this is my desktop, which is in red. And I've got the Wi-Fi connection right over here, and it doesn't show an Ethernet connection. But if I change to the laptop, what happens is that instead of using the Wi-Fi connectivity of the laptop, what we have right over here is a Ethernet connection. So it will work great. I did test out and it was able to reach about 500 megabits per second download and 100 and something megabits per second on upload, which is basically the maximum of my ISP provider. But the only limitation that it has, and this is on the AV access website and manuals and so on and so forth, is that it will only work on the USB type C connection type, which is for the laptop. For the desktop, we will need to connect the desktop to an Ethernet cable if we want. 
or we will need to use the Wi-Fi connectivity of the desktop. So this is the only limitation that I did find. But once again, AV Access is clear about that limitation. Everything else is working accordingly to the speeds that we have seen, tested out. And this is the workflow that we can get. I can work on the laptop and then really, really quickly, we just one set of peripherals change with a click of a button and then continue my tasks on the desktop where I was working and so on and so forth. That is it, simple as this. Basically, this is it, easy as we just have seen. I just need to connect one single cable to my laptop, USB Type-C, and then connect the three cables to the desktop, and I will be able to connect all my peripherals, storage, audio, and so on and so forth, and I will be able to take advantage of one computer, another computer, two displays simultaneously, and I just need to press one button. I don't need to be disconnecting cables and connecting and I have a lot of mess on the desk. As you could see, the cable management was not bad at all on the top of the desk. Now, that being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.